Namaste guys. So this is the last um, couple of videos and this is on handstands and how to improve your abilities to handstand. So today I'm going to give you a couple of wall drills and then I'm going to give you tomorrow a couple of drills away from the wall to work on your handstand ability. So for those of you who are needing to start at the wall, the first thing I would suggest you do is working on two separate handstand holds, endurance wise. And I would suggest you work on building up to three times one minute. You might start at 20 seconds and 10 seconds, but eventually I would like to see you doing twice a week, three times one minute holds away from the wall eventually, but starting with the wall. So the first one is coming on as close to your wall as possible where you can build a straight line. Fingers are spread, arms are pulling in, and you're going to be looking straight ahead to build the strength. So from here, you're going to kick up to the wall, and you're going to hold this nice straight line. So see my bottom back? That's not the straight line. We're going to push away from the wall and hold this nice straight line. You might get some float time with your feet, and then you might fall down. Or you might just take one foot off here, holding here, and then the other foot off. What you're working towards is pushing up and away, wrapping your arms in, keeping that nice straight line, don't sink your bottom back. So you're holding here, pointing your toes, squeezing your bottom, looking down and holding here for up to one minute. From once you've done your three holds, you come down. Take a rest period. Take time in between this because Time in between this is important so you can have a great structured handstand and also build your longer holds. We're not aiming for personal best every time, but if you rush through it, you'll find that your holds quickly deteriorate in time and quality. The next one is to do a handstand where you are actually now facing the wall, which seems a lot more daunting because you feel like you want to fall back. So make sure you know how to fall out of the wall. And you have your feet and your nose connected to the wall to give you that nice straight line. So from here, you're going to bring one leg up however you want to. You could open it up through a split. You can bring it up like this. And you're going to walk yourself back all the way to the wall until your head, nose, and your toes are touching. And holding here in this nice straight line. Don't sink down like this. Push up and away. Keep a nice strong squeeze in your inner thighs. Squeeze your bottom, straighten up through your arms, through your core, and holding here for about one minute. Breathing, you might even point one toe, take it off, or point two toes and take it off. It's totally up to you. Once you've done that one minute, come on down. So that's going to help you to build the ability to not feel afraid to fall, but to also know you have the strength. You're putting a lot of weight in your fingertips, which is the strength in your forearms as well. That strength there will help you to be able to breathe through it and know that you can hold yourself, but you have to build that up with endurance movements. After that, you're going to work on the line of your tuck on the wall. So we're going to do a tuck hold on the wall, and this will work at the line. So from here, what we want is a nice straight line. We don't want the arms too far over. We don't want the hands too far back. So see that line. We want a nice straight line here with your arms. So fingers spread. Breathe in deeply. You're going to keep your head not out here, but in, tucked in like a tortoise into your um, body because this is going to be your neck strength. Also, is required in this movement. So not out here, but tucked in. So you're also going to have neck alignment here too. And from here, we're going to lift one foot up, two feet. Now we're not back here, we're not over here with our head out. We're up in this position. Only toes are on here on the wall. From here, you're just holding, squeezing your legs into your chest, bringing your bottom up, keeping your head looking down between your hands and holding here. You might even get some hang time when you're holding here. You may not, and you're holding here for the one minute mark as well. This is going to be really important for you building that nice straight line. Because often as our legs get longer, 
we lose that straight line. So therefore, when we lose that straight line, we lose the ability to balance. And that becomes very, very difficult to be able to control our balance when we're out of alignment and all our muscles aren't sinking in. So this is your endurance work for this day. There's also going to be a few more holds I will show you to try. If you're interested, these holds hold for three to 10 breaths. You don't have to get up to a minute, just take it as it comes to you. The first one would be still again facing the wall away, looking to get a nice L structured line on the wall, but pointing the toes, holding this position. So we're not doing this or this, we're holding this nice straight line, head between our arms on the wall. So we're coming up, you have to find the distance away from the wall, so depending how long your leg are, legs are, coming up into your, your pike here, then lifting up here into your L. So, then you're holding here, maybe you get some balance time, maybe not. Holding here. Bring your leg down. If you feel like you're too close, you walk your hands out. Then come into it again. Leg into your L. Holding here, push away, head between your hands. Holding here. Breathing here. Pushing your leg straight up. Holding here. Breathing here. Coming on down, slowly. These two will get your coordination between your left and your right side in endurance balances, as well with your neck in alignment. Also help you to build unilateral strength. And finally, to help build that pike strength, we're gonna do a pike hold by pushing our hips over, so over the body and arms so that we can work towards getting that pike press or straddle press for our legs to go up, our hips must go up and back. So we're going to hold an endurance feel to understand that. So your arms will need to be a little closer to get the hips over. From there, step up the wall. You probably have bent legs. Push out, then work towards head coming forward, then hips coming over here. And you can see, nice straight line, legs together, holding here, nice and strong in the back. This one will be a lot harder than the rest of them because it will be also working in your back all the way up. You'll feel like your shoulders are exhausted and overworked. You'll feel like you'll want to collapse down. You'll feel very stressed and it'll be difficult to hold. But with practice, it will get easier. This one will definitely help for your understanding. Hips go back for legs to go up. Because as we go up in space, what you can see when we do it again here, when I push out here, my legs are going up, see? So my legs won't go up unless my hips work to go back. So that's gonna help you to understand it. And finally, just a little play time, after all that endurance work, is to do some jump works to the wall and get lighter and lighter with touching the wall. So hands, you know, a good, lower arm distance away from, um, to an arm distance away. Start in your squat position. Keep your head between your arms, so try not to look forward, because this one, the wall is gonna catch you anyway. Bend your knees, jump up and down. So you may feel like you've got to fall so you don't touch the wall like that, but try again. Head down, jump up and look and down, so no touch of the wall, hang time. Try again, that's what you want. You might do jump up, touch, then step off, and then down. But eventually what you're gonna do is be able to not even touch the wall, so you're gonna be able to jump up, and down. Jump up, control it so you don't touch the wall, and down. But at first you're probably gonna start like, And then eventually you're going to get lighter, a little touch like that, then down. And eventually you're going to come to that space where you don't need the wall, you don't touch. So if the wall wasn't there, you could do it too. So have a go, enjoy, let the journey of growing 
endurance and strength and alignment build you and I'll bring the last day to you where you will be going away from the wall and doing a couple of things to get you into alignment. Namaste.